Sanchez update, Walcott watch, Lukaku left Everton because of a voodoo message, which newspaper think Thomas Lamar is a singer, and all the latest transfer gossip today on One Football Daily. It's funny how money changes situation, miscommunication leads to complications. Welcome to One Football News, I'm Antoine Allen, and here is the big news stories. First up, the transfer report. Arsenal's Alexis Sanchez is going to be the main transfer speculation right up until EFA signs for a new team or the transfer window closes. According to The Guardian, Manchester City have offered 20 million for Alexis Sanchez and Sanchez has agreed 250 pounds a week. Well, in the summer they offered 60 million and Arsenal said no, maybe Arsenal doesn't do good business anymore. Yesterday we spoke about Thomas Lamar being the most likely replacement for Sanchez. However, TYC Sport claims that Arsenal were set to pay the £27 million release clause for Boca Junior winger Christian Pavon, who's 21 and could be bringing himself to London. So maybe Arsenal will have a contingency plan. We'll see if this deal goes through. Walcott watch continues. Right now, it looks like Everton are ahead of Southampton in their pursuit of the Arsenal man, who coincidentally features on our list of five players that Arsenal need to sell this January. Comment below who you think the other four players are. I know some of you are going to write hashtag get rid of them all. Probably true. Speaking of players teams need to sell, Liverpool's Mr. Glass, Daniel Sturridge, reportedly, hopefully, leaving Liverpool and joining no other than dot, 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 into Milan. We at One Football think that's more of a fancy transfer than a real deal. Make sure you download the app, you can see all of our fake transfer news debunking. With that all said, let's flop out those big balls for big ball news. Now we've got big ball news, we take the biggest football news and crunch them down into bite-sized chunks. Man City took a 2-1 lead against Bristol City in the Carabao Cup, but tonight Chelsea take on Arsenal in their semi-final clash. Arsene Wenger will once again be in the stands as he serves his pitch side ban. Arsene is still complaining about the penalty that Chelsea received against Arsenal a week ago. Who remembers when everyone was doing the Smurda dance? You know, remember it? Mitch caught a body about a week ago. Moving on, Everton chairman Fahid Moshi has told shareholders meeting that Lukaku had a voodoo message on a pilgrimage to Africa that said he should leave Everton and join Chelsea. Reportedly, Lukaku's agent said he was 99.9% .9 likely to re-sign for Everton. I didn't realise that voodoo messages came in the form of a 110k a week wage increase. Or that you could ignore half the message, because obviously Lukaku's a Man United player. Anyway, question of the day, what have you been told to do by the voodoo? We're going to move on to social media banter. The Mirror tweeted a story about Monaco's Thomas Lamar, but they used a picture of the British R&B singer Lamar, and we even shared it on our YouTube page, go check it out, and some of you mistook the singer for Kendrick Lamar. So this is the footballer, this is the singer, and this is the rapper, and I'm Antoine Allen. We're all black, but only one of us presents the One Football Daily Updates. Quote of today was from Lauren Hill. If you know the song, comment below, and I'll see you again tomorrow for all of the transfer, big more news, and social media banter.